Hi guys, welcome back to Crumbs and Doilies in Soho with me, Dane. And me, Sally. And we're here today to show you another cookie recipe because it's been a while and it's for the strawberry shortcake cookies. Yes, we put these on the menu over Valentine's because they're kind of pink, they're kind of cute, but you guys love them so much that we've actually decided to just keep them on the menu full time, which means it's about time that we showed you the recipe for them. So that's what we're here for. So we'll head on upstairs and show you how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are probably wondering what the strawberry shortcake cookie is. Well, it's our gooey NYC cookie base with strawberry flavored chocolate chips. It's got tangy freeze dried strawberries and a crunchy sugar exterior. It's delicious. It is so, so good. I think it's pretty different to our other flavors, mainly because of the sugary outside. It's super crispy, but also this pink chocolate is strawberry flavored and it's kind of like strawberry milkshake. So it's like, hey, cheeky. Mm. It's got so that good. kind of like nostalgic. <laughs> Feel to it as well. Yeah, strawberry I, milkshake X. Yeah, it's so awesome. Um, so if you want to get your hands on a cool downloadable version of this whole recipe, like a PDF that's got full photos, it's got instructions, it's got the ingredients, then why don't you come and join us over on our bake club, which is at patreon.com forward slash cupcake gemma. You can get those every single week, every time we upload a video here, as well as loads of behind the scene content, like videos and cute little things like that. Um, and also, if you are, then you can get yourself a 20% discount count bing 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 on our brand new bake at home kit because of course we're not just showing you the recipe here on youtube we're going to be giving you well we're not giving it <laughs> <laughs> you're able to grab yourself one of these bake at home kits from cupcakegemma.com or crumbsanddoilies.co.uk it's got everything in it to bake this cookie all you need to add is eggs and butter it's even got baking paper like it's literally the dream the dream <laughs> so should we bake? let's bake so the first thing with our cookies starts with butter and sugar. Mm. So we've got some cold butter here, which yes. is already cubed. Yeah, so 230 grams, nice and firm, because hopefully you guys have seen us baking these before, right? Yes, and if you haven't, there's an NYC cookie playlist, which we'll put in the description box below. And there's also a cookie masterclass. Yes, and subscribe as well, because then you don't miss any of our videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so cold butter, because we don't want to cream this, we don't want to beat it, we don't want to overmix it. So this is going to go into our mixer bowl, along with 160 grams of both caster sugar and soft light brown sugar. So the sugar and the butter are in, and then we're just going to set the mixer on a slow to medium speed and just get it moving until they form buttery, sugary nuggets. You don't want to cream this mixture. No creaming. <laughs> Let's have a little look inside our bowl to show you what we mean by our sugary buttery nuggets. You can see all different sizes. You've got some nice big old lumps of butter in there too, and that is the good stuff. Indeed. So the next thing to add is our chocolate. This super special strawberry chocolate that we talked about earlier. It's like strawberry milkshake-esque, and it just tastes incredible. So if you can't get this, you can get it online. You can maybe just use white chocolate and the freeze-dried strawberries, and that will give you an incredible flavor as well. Yeah, but this is so pretty. Yeah. I'd recommend getting it. Right, <laughs> so we're putting 400 grams of that amazing strawberry chocolate into our mixer. Next up is our fantastical freeze-dried strawberries going in, and they are so wonderful, tangy and fragrant. Yeah, and they're pretty much all natural. They are all natural. They're completely just 100% strawberries. Mm, amazing. We've got 15 grams of them. We're going to whack them into the bowl and then we're going to turn our mixer onto a low speed and just keep it mixing until the chocolate and the strawberries have kind of spread themselves through the batter. It's so pretty in there. So pretty. <laughs> it's really beautiful. <laughs> and now we're going to add some flour. We've got 500 grams of plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt, which are all going in. As usual, we're going to mix this kind of together before we add it because, again, like we don't want to cream it, so we don't want to make the mixer work too hard. So we're doing some of that. This is <laughs> terribly hard work that I'm doing here. <laughs> so once that's mixed together, we'll chuck it into the mixer, turn it onto the low speed again, keep the mixer going until we get to a fine breadcrumb consistency. Right, so obviously the whole thing's not going to be bread crummy because we've got those chocolate chips in there too and you might also get a couple of leftover big lumps of butter and again that's where these cookies come into their own so please don't worry you want those lumps of butter 
Yes. Now we need something to bind it all together, and we're going to use two large eggs. And, uh, oh, I thought you were going to show everyone your party trick. Then. I know, but I just, <laughs> I looked at the bowl and I thought, oh, it's quite a small, small. bowl. And uh, I just <laughs> I wasn't sure I could do it. I understand. It's OK. <laughs> I still think I cracked them marvellously well. You do. Anyway, so we're going to whisk these together with the fork. Again, a bit like mixing the dry ingredients together so the mixer doesn't have to work too hard. And then we're going to chuck it all into our batter, turn the mixer onto the low speed, and keep it going till it comes together. Now it's started to come together, but when you look in here, you might think it looks a little bit dry, but trust, it's all going to come together. <laughs> trust, who do I think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check it with the work service, mainly so you can see how pretty it Ooh. looks. And now it is time to ball, not roll. Yes, so Sally's going to weigh them out at 125 grams because it's a nice size for a cookie, mm -hmm. you know? You can do less though, if you want less. Yeah, but. and just bake it for a little bit less time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm going to scoop up a little bit of this, what looks like crumbly dough, which is not. I'm going to weigh 125. We've swapped jobs. Normally, he does the weighing, <laughs> and I do the balling, and I feel like he stitched me up because I'm not very good at weighing. There no. we go. <laughs> we both had this epiphany, and we both said it at the same time earlier, and we said, let's switch roles. Ding! <laughs> and we said yes. And now here we are. She's on the left and I'm on the right. <laughs> so you just want to grab the pre-weighed dough and scrunch it together like this. I always say like clunk, clunk, or what do I say? Oh, you changed it last time. I, I changed it. Uh, squish, squish, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Um, but there, it's kind of like an irregular, knobbly shaped ball. But we're not going to stop there. We are going to coat it in some demerara sugar, which will give a really nice crunchy exterior. And you'll need to kind of press it onto the dough ball because they're not super sticky. That's it. Crunchy mm -hmm. strawberry cookie ball. It's going into our Tupperware, ready to freeze. Right, so let's just roll our cookies. And I feel like actually I stitched you up because you've got more work to do. So I'll just help That's you out. That's true. Oh, thank you. Clunk, clunk, <laughs> dunk. <laughs> clunk, clunk, dunk. Oh, I thought you said dunk. You said done. I said well, done. There's a I new mean, thing. The clunk, clunk, dunk. <laughs> <laughs> That is the last one done. And they're not ready to bake yet. We need to freeze them for about two to four hours, depending on how cold your freezer is, till they are solid frozen. But the best thing about these is that you can leave them in your freezer for like three months if you could possibly bear to keep cookies in there for that long without <laughs> eating them. And you can just bake them off like one at a time. They're absolute genius if we do say so ourselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, we have I say we, it wasn't us, it was the amazing team at Crumbs and Donies, <laughs> made us some earlier, which are nice and frozen, they're really, really solid, and we're going to bake them from frozen. That way you get the nice crispy outside and a gooey, gooey centre, so we've put the oven on, let's, <laughs> come on, let's come over to the oven. Yes. So inside our oven, we have got a baking tray that is lined with greasy paper. We wanted to get that in there nice and hot so that you get a nice crispy bum on your cookies. <laughs> and then we're going to pop our cookies. You want to spread them out because they are going to spread a fair bit. And you can fit quite a lot on. Well, actually, I say that we've got massive ovens. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough cookies for you? Yeah, sure, that would be great. OK, cool. <laughs> so they are going to go in. The oven is at 180 degrees C, which is fan assisted. We're going to pop them in for 16 minutes. They are going to look nice and crispy and golden. But if you're not quite sure, head over to our cookie masterclass where we kind of explain exactly what you're looking for with your cookies. Yeah. Ready? Go. What should we do? You can wash up. What? That is rude. You always tell me to watch out. I do always tell you to watch out. Oh my god. They're cool, they're out, and they smell. I'm like, oh, I was gonna do <laughs> Are you gonna do the same? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they do smell amazing. They you don't do. even need to get low. You can just smell them from all over the all place. Yes. <laughs> oh, look how cute they are too. They're extra crispy and extra golden because of that demerara sugar. Yep, and it kind of makes it a little bit sparkly on the outside too. Ooh. Right, we know what you're waiting for. The break. Ready? Go. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. <gasps> mm -hmm. So cute. That gooey chocolate and the bejeweled strawberry pieces look incredible. I bet they taste incredible too. Yeah. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. So fragrant and tangy. Mm. And that cookie is still gooey, which is amazing. And kind of like caramelized as well because of the sugar. The sugar, yeah. Mm, I love it. So good. Well done, us. Yeah. High five, elbows. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And oh my god. Most importantly, you're mm. probably wondering if you want to get your hands on some of these. They mm. will be in store every day, seven days a week here at C and D Soho. And also, you know we've got our cookies that you can order online straight to your door. Available at crumbsandjoys.co.uk. Mm -hmm. um, you can order these ones too. That is a flavour option. You can pick your own. You can get a box of six of these or like two of these and two red velvet, two chocolate. <laughs> Whatever you want, pick your own. They'll be on the website. They will. And of course, if you want to eat them, but you want to try making them, then you can grab the Bake at Home kit as well, which is awesome. Actually, I was thinking while we were making them because mm. the strawberry chocolate's kind of a little bit hard to come by, but buy the Bake at Home kit and you get it. Ooh in there as exactly. well as the free dry strawberries as well so definitely do that they're on both our websites we'll put links to everything in the description box below and if you're a member of our bake club on patreon you'll get 20 percent off for this as well even more reason to go and join us there for yeah. loads of kind of fun content as well as remember those pdf downloads of all the kind of instructions for every single recipe that we do here on the channel yes and don't forget to follow us over on instagram as well at crumbs and doilies and at cupcake jenna You'll find all of our amazing kind of pictures and behind the scenes and just everything really good and yummy and these cookies, everything, brilliant. Absolutely everything. Yeah. Right. I think I'm back next week. I think I'm back. I think it's yes. me. I think I'm up with my batten bag. Yes. Get in. It is going to be the best. Sharpest, most awesome Battenberg you've ever laid your eyes on. Yeah, it looks trust. insane. I've had a teaser. I said trust in. again, twice. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. I need to go lie down. I need some more cookies. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't know where oh, I was. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>